Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. In today's session, we are going to solve a scenario where we have to convert a set of columns into rows. So, if you see here in the input, we have three columns and now the output should be coming into rows. So, we are converting columnar data into rows. The output should look like this. This is a quite common scenario and has been described on many websites but the real output seems to be a little different and it's strange how these websites on the internet have like described them very easily. So let's approach and try the common scenario. For this we have a source and it's having three columns. For the target, we have only one column. So let's delete this new field. Now we will create a mapping. This scenario appears to be quite simple. But there is a twist and we have to investigate it. So if you always see like you have to convert columns into rows, then you can simply imagine that you have to extract these rows separately. This means into if one single row of data is coming, you have to extract each and every column. How you can do is you can use three expressions. So my first column goes here, second goes here and the third goes here. So now I've finally taken out the three columns that is if you see A for the first row A, B and C are now extracted. Now I need to add them in a vertical manner like I have to append each of these columns upside down so it's a union operation so this is the union transform I will add this thing I will create two more groups and let's add them into the union The mapping is valid. Let's quickly create a workflow. The workflow is done. Let's open the workflow. Column to rows. It's fine. Let's define the session properties. We will give the input name. So it is input.txt. Let me remove every unwanted data. Okay. I will give this as input.txt. Finally, let's give the target. I'll say target or let it be output.txt. Finally, I will save this and run this. And here we see the session is completed and it was two input rows were there and finally six output rows have come up. So it looks like we have almost done it correctly. Let's open. 
so here you see we are successfully able to convert the input data that is a uh, columnar data into one single row, uh, uh, row data into one single column see we have this and now we have got six values in one single column so it looks fine but if you see the sequencing is not correct so this is very strange when we use the approach and it looked fine but what we missed is a minute property of the union transformation which actually changed the order of your data how it appears is that the union transformation takes the first a in first group b in second group and c in third group then it takes b in first e in second and f in third in similar manner suppose if i have 1 comma 2 comma 3 then all this goes into first group a d and e b e 2 goes in second and similarly c f 3 goes in third group and the final output is a combination of the first group appended with the second group and appended with the third group and so on so this will obviously distort your data so you see this is the first group this is the second group and this is the third group but your output was not as expected because what we wanted was a b c and then d e f so you have to take care of the sequencing from your side so now we have to modify the mapping let's quickly close this save this one so we have to apply the sequencing we have to handle the sequencing from our side so whenever you are working with a union transformation and sequence is very important then remember it's the the duty of the developer to introduce sequence so we'll quickly create a sequence here and let's say sequence it's a variable sequence equals to sequence plus 1 I have to make it an integer. Okay, now let's validate this. It's fine. I will take it as an output. Output sequence. Okay, and the output. Let's take this sequence. Cool, because we have created this expression without any input port so let's quickly add an input port we are not going to utilize it we are just going to like fulfill the requirement for the expression transformation and we will add this sequence everywhere so for every first row the output of the sequence will be 1 for the second row it will be 2 and this will be appended in front of all the columns of each and every row in the sequential manner now Let's delete this union and create it again. That will be much easier than editing the previous one. So now we have the employee ID or actually the column 1 and we will drag it here. We will create two more groups. okay looks fine now that we have added the sequence so we also need to uh, because this union transformation will be doing the the like ordering in a group of first column second column third column so now we have to rearrange this thing with using a sorter so let's have this sorter and now we are going to arrange the output data on the basis of the sequence which we have assigned in the beginning so let's go here and use this sequence 
as a key and now we will drag the column and save it the mapping is valid let's refresh let's save it everything is closed and we should now run it now it has succeeded let's go and check the output let's open the input also so that we can compare now you can see we got the correct output in the manner we wanted let's compare it side by side so you see we have a b c then d e f and then 1 2 3 and here we have the same sequence so a piece of advice from my side like whenever you are practicing these scenarios from any of the websites please don't blindly believe what the solution they have given they might be looking tempting or easy an approach but when you go to the real time scenario and practice on your own machine you will find the real outputs quite different and maybe the interviewer knows about this and he can catch hold of you at that time so it's better to practice on your machine and then go in this manner you will be having solid confidence that you have tried and tested this thing still in this scenario if you have any doubts you can comment and let me know till then happy learning